Hello everyone. In previous video, we have studied about structure of flower. There we use two different terms for female reproductive organ of a flower, which is carpel and pistil. This is quite confusing. Where and when we can use these terms? Let's understand the difference between them. So what is carpel and pistil? Carpel and pistil are two terms that describe female reproductive parts of a flower. A carpel consists of stigma, style and ovary. The structure we already know, right? So this is the structure of stigma. This is the hollow structure of style, the swollen structure of ovary, right? Whereas pistil consists of single or several carpels. That means carpel is a unit of a pistil. Right? So, therefore, pistil is a single or collection of fused ovaries. Right? So, here hence we can say that pistil is nothing but the seed bearing part of a flower. We can use these two terms interchangeably according to flower structure. But how? We can only interchange carpel and pistil with each other when there is a single carpel or a single pistil in one flower. Let's understand with the help of a diagram. Here is stigma. Here is a style. Here is an ovary. And when we do a cross section of this ovary, we see a single chamber or compartment. All right. So this can be considered as single unfused carpel, single unfused carpel or we can say that it is a simple pistil. Now we see another example. Here, here in this picture, it has multiple unfused carpels, right? As I have already told you, the stigma, style and ovary together consist a carpel. So here we have three unfused carpels or we can say multiple unfused carpels, right? With simple pistil because they are not fused with each other. Hence, the pistil is simple. When we do a cross section of the ovary, we see there are separate chambers carrying the ovule. Therefore, every ovule considered as or comes from each carpel. Now we see another diagram. In this diagram, we see here is a stigma, here is a style and here is an ovary. But later on what we see the styles are fused and hence make a compound pistil right so here is a compound pistil and multiple stigma one stigma from each carpel so when we do the cross section of this ovary we see the chambers are fused with each other right therefore it is a compound pistil let's understand the term of apocarpus and Syncarpus. So the term apocarpus refers as when many carpels are present in a pistil and they are free from each other. As you can see here in this picture, right? There are three carpels, one, two, three, and they are free from each other. When we do a cross section of the ovary, we see separate chambers, each chambers from each carpel. Hence, it is said to be apocarpus. So when the gynoecium consists of two or more carpels and all the carpels are free, the ovary is said to be apocarpus. 
now we see another example the term syncarpus it refers to the compound ovaries or we can say the in which the carpels are fused with each other when we do a cross section of this ovary we see there is only one chamber and the carpels from all three carpels are fused with each other hence make a single chamber right so when the gynoecium consists of two or more carpels and all the carpels are fused then the ovary is said to be syncarpal and the example of syncarpus ovaries are tomato mango mustard flowers etc and the apocarpus ovaries are strawberry rose lotus etc now let's recall the difference between carpel and pistil a carpel is consists of stigma style and ovary whereas pistil is a collection of fused ovaries or we can say seed bearing female organ of a flower or gynoecium flowers can have individual or collection of carpels right it can have one or many pistil can be either the same as an individual carpel or a collection of carpels fuse together that mean a compound ovary right or a compound pistil carpels can be counted by the counting the number of separate styles whereas the pistil can be counted by the counting the number of separate ovaries when we count the ovary we can find out the number of pistil and when we count the style we can find out the number of carpel i hope this difference is clear for you we will meet in the next video for more educational videos please like share and subscribe my youtube channel biology fundamentals you can also follow me on instagram for more educational content link is available in description box till then keep learning and stay connected bye bye